Hey guys, Walt here, Flat Earth Ed. Well, I was beginning to think that uh, they got the timing wrong on this thing. When I sent you guys that first shot, uh, really couldn't see much happening. And then suddenly we get a little kind of like discoloration, you know, that starts happening. Uh, say about the 11 o'clock position and just starts kind of fading into the face of the moon. I wouldn't call it a shadow. Not like that shadow you see on my face, like what you're seeing happening on my face, that line. Mm, I'm the moon, I'm the moon. Well, that's not what's happening up there. Here, let me show you. Uh-oh. There we go. So, yeah. If you could see it, that front leading edge is just kind of a haze. There's no line of... Uh, there's no median line happening. It's really hazy and phased. See, there you go. That's what you're seeing, how it just kind of fades in and out. With the shot. So anyway. It's getting worse. I thought it was getting better. Let me try this. Hold on. Let me take it down a notch. When you see it getting bright like that, I realize it's an effect of the lens and the camera and all the bad stuff I'm doing here to the system, trying to trick it into showing you guys the moon. Uh-oh. Well, I thought I had it. Oh, the skull face looking down upon us. <laughs> Here, anyway. Uh, shout out to Mike Davino. I'll see you there. What's up, brother? Glad to have you with me tonight, this morning, or whatever it is for you. It's morning here. It's just been all night for me. I stayed up for this. I knew I'd never get up. <laughs> so, we did a show last night on Truth Frequency Radio. And uh, then I went and celebrated a family member's birthday, my sister-in-law. Happy birthday to her. And then came home and headed out. Headed out to uh, the coast here. Which, let me see if I can get the column of water going. I mean, the column of light on the water. No, it'll never pick up. Be happy with the moon. Not trying to do too many tricks here. Uh oh, I may have lost my shot. There it is. Ah, uh, that's true. You're a couple of hours different. I mean, an hour different than me over there in Florida. I didn't think about it. Uh, we had chemtrails all day. It's interesting how you get to see the whole 
other part of the moon when it does that weird thing. Huh? So how bad does this really look, Dave? I'm, I'm on the phone looking at the screen on the phone. I'm not looking at this on a computer or a TV. I'm sure it looks horrible, but hey, it's a live shot of an eclipse that only happens once every 150 years or hasn't happened in 150 years on a cell phone. I have my tablet over here uh, doing a time lapse. I've been wanting to get out here and do a time lapse of the moon just to see if it travels away and not down the sky, as I found out when I came out here two or three times for sunset videos. So since I was out here, I decided to set up my tablet over there and uh, get a time lapse. It'll be crappy, just like the ones that I have on my channel already, because uh, unfortunately, in my financial situation, I just don't have the disposable income to go out and purchase all kind of high-end equipment. All you folks out there with the nice cameras, the P900s and the B700s and the LMNOPs or whatever, you uh, are going to have much better shots of this amazing event, and I can't wait to see some of it. I'm hoping our buddy Paul on the plane catches it out there on the West Coast with his setup. If you guys haven't subscribed to Paul on the Plane or seen his Faking Space series, uh -oh. you definitely need to get over to his channel and check his stuff out. Paul on the Plane, he does some amazing work. He's been on our show on Truth Frequency Radio a few times, a couple times, and uh, on our show on the Iron Realm Media a few times. Anyway, when I see I'm approaching the seven minute mark here and my hand is very fatigued holding this camera steady so i'm gonna stop doing this and take a little break and i will pop back in as it gets closer to uh completion all right guys i will holler at you in a little while take care brother sisters friends neighbors countrymen oh one last good shot all right guys thanks a lot i'll see you in a little while